I'm going to show you how to set up a chafing dish for buffet service. There are a lot of different styles of chafing dishes on the market, but they all function basically the same. I'm going to walk you through setting up a wire rack chafer. These are the components. First is the wire rack. This is where all the parts of the chafing dish come together. The fuel holders are built right into the bottom of the rack. You'll need a large pitcher for pouring water. This is the water pan, the food pans, and of course the fuel. We're going to use Sterno Ethanol Gel. Our gel fuels feature a smart can indicator that let you know when the can is too hot to touch. Let's set up our buffet. For safety's sake, have your chafing dishes fully assembled and in place where your service is happening. First, place your open fuel cans in the holders. Next, place the water pan in the rack. Pour about a half inch of very hot water into the pan. It's important that you use hot water at the start. This will help ensure that the food is at a safe and ideal temperature as soon as it is placed in the chafer. Let's light the fuel with our stick lighter. And now we're going to place our hot food in the water pan. Remember, a chafing dish is not for cooking food, but for keeping food at an ideal serving temperature. That's food that's above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you're ready for service. When service is ended, extinguish the fuel. Allow these cans to cool for 15 minutes before touching. Now you're ready to tear down. Let's review. Have all your elements ready before service. Set up the chafing dish frame in your serving location. Start with hot water in the water pan. Keep food hot that's above 140 degrees Fahrenheit and make sure you're using the proper chafing fuel for your event. For more information and to get your free safety and usage posters, visit sterno.com.